Once we have a business running, it is very easy to neglect certain aspects of the business, which may hurt our revenue in the long term. And the worst part of this is that we may understand this when it's too late. So the only way that I know of combating this is by having data that helps us understand what is actually going on in our business so we can be proactive instead of reactive. And this is what is called KPIs or Key Performance Indicators. KPIs are a basic tool that tells us how well our business is doing according to some parameters that we have set that they are important for our business. So for example, this will be number of sales calls per month. If we decide that this number is important for our business because the more sales calls, the more revenue we get, then this will be one of our KPIs. There are two important aspects of KPIs. The first is defining which KPIs are important for our kind of business. And the second is to have a system that allows us to track those KPIs over time. And that can also tell us when we are fucking up or when everything is going fine. And in this video, I'm going to focus on the second and I'm going to be using a tool called Notion in order to track these KPIs. Let me show you how I do it. So for this system, we are going to need a couple of databases. Well, if you have been following my channel, you know that I like to have all my databases in one page because one it is much more orderly and second, it is easy to see everything that is powering the Notion workspace. So these are the two databases that I'm going to need for this KPI system. The first one is this one over here that I call KPIs. So in this database, what I'm going to do is to have one entry per KPI that I'm tracking. Then we have this number property for which is our, our objective, which is our desired objective for this particular KPI. Then we have this, I'm going to explain later. This is just a more info uh, property, just in case we want to explain something else. And so far, this is all we care about because all this I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain later. So to follow the example that I have made in the beginning of this video, if I have a KPI that is number of sales calls per week, I'm going to create it here, number of sales calls per week. And my objective is, let's say, five, one sales call per, per day. Of course, I should have calculated this so it makes sense and everything, but yeah, let's say that is five. And so far, this is all I can do in this, in this database. Now is when the other database comes into place, which is the KPI log. So the idea here is that every X number of days, we are going to come here, well, to a part of the system that I haven't yet shown you, but we're going to come to Notion and log, which is the current number for this KPI that we are getting. So this is the database that we are going to use to log every time the number of each of these KPIs. So for example, for this sales calls closing rate on August 29, I had a 29 a percent close rate. And since this database, it is linked to the KPIs with a rollup that is over here, we can uh, bring which is the KPI objective over here. So this KPI objective has a 40% and I'm getting now 29. So therefore, with this status property, we can easily see uh, whether we are over or not the objective. So we can have a very good visual representation of how well or how not so well we are, we are doing. Then we also have a notes area and that is all we care about. Now that we know that we have these two databases linked with this relational property, we can go to the other database and I can show you what I didn't show you before. Here we have all the logs that come from the other database. Honestly, it doesn't matter that they don't have title because we don't really need a title. We just need it to link to the KPI and log the number. And here we have another rollup that is taking the information from those logs and calculating the average. So like this, at the KPI level, instead of at the log level, as I showed you before, we can uh, tell whether or not we are over our objective or not. I mean, this is a little bit of a complicated formula, but I made it complicated because I also want to see like this 41, which is the average. But if we just want to see whether it's good or not, then this is pretty easy. Just need to compare the average with the objective and, and that is it. Okay. But I show you here the whole formula just in case you want some, some inspiration. Okay. So this is how these two databases work together, but this is not actually how we use this system because as you can see, you, you have to go to many places. It is not very user friendly. So of course I was just showing you. Now I'm going to show you how we really use this, this system. We have here a KPIs page and it is a much cleaner view. Here on the top, we have the KPI status view. So we can see here, which are the active uh, KPIs. 
with their uh, actual result. So this is taking into account all the logs that each of the KPIs has and whether they are okay or not okay. And here below, we have the login area. So following our example, number of sales calls per week. Since this is a per week kind of KPI, the ideal thing will be to log this every week. So let's say that today is Friday, which it is. So I'm gonna log how many sales calls I have had this week. So I will come over here. I will link this to the KPI that I want, which is number of sales calls per week. And let's say that this week I have had four sales calls and the objective was five. Then I can log that this is for this particular week. And that is it. This view is just for adding logs and that is it. Then how are we going to visualize like all the data that we have within one KPI? Well, so in the KPI database, I have something that I haven't shown you, which is the KPI template. If we go here, we can see that we have a log view and this comes from the KPI log database. So here we're gonna show all the logs that we have for this particular uh, template. If you are curious, this is the filter that I'm using where KPI is KPI template. Okay, so whenever we run this template, this is called a self-referencing filter. When we run this template, this is gonna become whatever KPI it is and this filter is going to become whatever KPI it is. Okay, so let's see here that we already have our log, the one that we created of this week, the current is four, the objective is five. Here, the cool thing is that this system has already built the flexibility that let's say that I forgot to log the data for the past week. So I can just come here, say that my sales calls of the previous week were let's say seven, and I'm gonna change the log day from the 27th to the 31st. So now if I go to number of sales calls per week, here I have my log, okay? And they are sorted by date. And since now I have this seven and I have this four, the average is 5.5, so my objective is met. But if I wanna see more information, I can see here all the logs and I can say that I failed one week. This is gonna be very useful because if I see a lot of red here, I can really fast pinpoint that something is happening in this KPI and I may want to talk to, in this case, uh, the sales team because they are not meeting the, the KPI. This system is part of a much greater system that is called Remote OS which is an all-in-one Notion template that I have built after consulting more than 50 companies to date. So here I have built everything that I have seen most companies need for operating. There is even a page where I have so many videos on how to automate everything in the, in the system. So if you wanna get this for your business, I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this video so you can duplicate it and make it yours. That is it for today and as always, hasta la próxima.